not sure what that is, but um, it's interesting. <laughs> I don't think it's a woodpecker. Maybe it is. I don't know. Anyway, good morning, and it's so nice to see you this morning. I hope that you're having a good morning. I am, as usual, sleepy this morning. I get a little sip of my coffee. And, um, ah, that's so good. So good. I love coffee. Good morning, Rose. Good morning, sweetheart. Go lay down. Thank you. Thank you. Well, happy Wednesday to you and um, happy hump day. I don't know if you can see in the background, but it's a little bit, um, it's, it's not overcast. It's just a little bit foggy. So obviously it was foggy in the night. Um, if you can see like in this part, whoop, I don't know how to do that. But anyway, in this part, um, that's not something on your screen that is, um, that's a little bit of fog, um, but the critters are really enjoying it this morning. They're having a good time. I put Theo up, so he's not going to be barking this morning, which is good. And of course, Rosie only barks when there's a bad guy around or who, whoever she thinks is a bad guy. <laughs> we haven't actually ever had a bad guy, <laughs> but she is protective and for that I'm thankful. She alerts me and um and warns others so especially not to mess with her mommy <laughs> she's very protective of me oh my well i'm so glad that you're here today and welcome to crochet therapy um, my name is barbara and i am your host for today's episode of morning coffee and crochet and um disclaimer at the beginning Crochet therapy is um, just a name that I came up with, uh, with the help from a little a couple friends. Um, and it is just to say that crochet is part of my therapy. It is therapeutic, it is calming, it's soothing. In no way, shape or form am I a therapist. <laughs> so just wanna get that out of the way. Um, I have some things to share with you this morning and um, I'm gonna take one more sip of my coffee going to cover this. I noticed that I noticed that you could hear me in the microphone swallowing. Oh, I don't want that. I'm going to cover this for a second. Hold on. We'll see if you could hear that one. That was a good swallow. <laughs> okay. So there's a couple things that I want to share with you. The first thing is something that I got for Christmas from my sweet mother-in-law. And um, it is, and I was so excited. I've never had anything from Mary Maxim before. And um, so this was exciting. I love getting things from new uh, yarn companies, new crochet yarn knitting companies. Um, it's just, it's exciting for, for me. Um, so this was a kit that she bought me. And um, it's Spring Gnomes. It's a kit and um, I'm gonna open it. Well, I opened it, but I'm gonna take, take some items out and show you. So it came with um, a Gurumi yarn and I've never had yarn that was specifically for Amagurumi. I've just used whatever yarn I had. So I'm really excited to try this. This is Amagurumi yarn um it says it's a light size three weight yarn made in turkey and um this one is 51 percent acrylic 49 percent cotton so that's kind of cool has 142 yards and um does it say what color it is maybe inside it does but i don't want to take it apart it's still really okay let's see it's says color well it just has a number for a color okay so we won't worry about that but anyway this is a I don't know if you can see but it's just a really really nice shade of um, blue and then um, there is another ball of Mary Max and the Amagurumi yarn um, same thing 
in this nice green color. You can see that. And then there is another one in a pink. So I'm really excited to work with this. Um, and then uh, there's a larger skein of Patton's Hempster. Three and a half ounce, 100 grams, 190 yards. And it says 55% hemp, 45% cotton. I've never worked with hemp yarn before, so I'm excited about that. It's a size three weight yarn. And um, this one is Ecru. But this is from Yarn Inspirations. Sorry, my hands shake. They just shake normally, so sorry about that. But anyway, so that's really, really neat. And then, um, you know, it comes with the instructions. Oh, there's something in there I want to show you. Okay, it comes with the instructions. Um, it says that it's spring gnomes. They're going to be eight inches tall. And look at these cute things. How adorable are they? Oh my goodness. And it even comes, you know, with the instructions to do the, um, to do both of the gnomes and both of the mushrooms. So I'm so excited about that. I am so excited. And look what it came with. It came with some bling, y'all. It came with some bling. So there's some um, beads. There's some beads in there. And there is a butterfly, a gold butterfly. And I think, I don't know if you can see it, but I think in one of those pictures, in this picture, well, there's only one picture, it is, okay, they have it landing on the girl gnomes. Well, I don't know if there's, they're girl or boys, but anyway, it's the pink gnomes hand. So, um, anyway. This is so cute. I just love it. And I'm so glad that my mother-in-law um, was so sweet and kind to get that for me. Um, she knows I'm yarn crazy. She knows I'm yarn crazy. My whole family knows I'm yarn crazy. And um, actually, I've gotten a couple of my friends and family yarn crazy too. So, oh well. <laughs> Oh, my, my sweet sister-in-law, Tanya. Oh, I think I corrupted her. She's just as crazy about yarn now as I am, so that's fun. The other thing I wanted to show you is something that I made before Christmas, before all this silliness. It's not silliness before all of this craziness happened and um it's definitely not silliness it's very serious and um i didn't mean it that way um there's a lot of people that you know have been seriously affected by this pandemic and for that my heart goes out to you um but before all of this happened i made um I was going to make some Christmas ornaments. Well, you know my story. I got sick and then I got sick again. And then, you know, in the middle of all that, um, you know, here comes Christmas and, and, um, and the new year. And it's just kind of um, been a really crazy time. So when I um, said the word silly, I certainly didn't mean ha ha silly. Um, so anyway, I made this. It is a slice of pizza. And I believe that it's on the Yarn Inspirations website. And they have ornaments. They have food ornament instructions. And um, so I made a pizza. And um, I shared it with my crochet group. And um, got them to making pizzas. Yarn Inspirations has um, instructions to make a hamburger, um, hot dog. Who doesn't love a hot dog? 
a hot dog. Um, oh my goodness. There were just tons of things that were food related, um, that they had the instructions for. And, and, um, they were, you know, ornaments for your Christmas tree, which I think is totally adorable. My idea before I got sick, my idea was that, you know, every year I would make a different one and that would be the theme for packages that, um, you know, for my friends and family, they were getting a, a gift from me that, um, on their gift tag, this would be attached, you know, with a, a little, um, ribbon or a, a chain, a crochet chain. Um, let's keep it all crochet. And, um, so, and then my idea was to, um, write the year on the back so that every year, every family member would get a slice of pizza. The next year, every family member would get a hot dog. The next year, every family member would get a taco. Anyway, you know, it was just kind of something that I had in my, in my head, um, you know, kind of a tradition thing, um, that, um, you know, traditions are important and, um, it's never too late to start a new one. So, you know, I've had traditions with my, my two sons since they were little, um, you know, every Christmas in their stocking, they would get a toothbrush always. They would get Pez, you know, I mean, you need to have a reason to have a toothbrush. <laughs> no, but I love Pez. I love Pez. So I would always stick one of those in there. And then when they got old enough, then I would find um, Christmas boxers. And every year they got a pair of Christmas boxers in their stocking. And, you know, I mean, they're, they're not ones to go out and, you know, wear wild and crazy boxers or whatever, but um, on a regular basis. But they really looked forward to that because it was, it was our tradition. And um, so create a tradition in your home. Um, doesn't matter what it is. Um, if it makes you happy and it's something that your family likes, then go for it. But anyway, so that was my idea for Christmas. Of course, it didn't happen. You know, sometimes plans don't, don't pan out, but, um, that doesn't mean I can't try for next year. And in fact, get a head start for next year. I don't know if this is working. Let's try this. Like that. Okay, the other thing that I wanted to show you, um, you know, I have mentioned before Krista from The Secret Yarnery, and um, I love watching her. I love her laughter. I love her silliness. I love her stories. Um, her family and the way she loves her family is um, is really, really amazing. And um, so anyway, she has um, a couple of patterns that I've tried. Um, I mentioned the oyster shell <laughs> scarf. I still haven't picked that up. Um, I might pick it up today um, and try a little bit, a little bit more, um, you know, maybe on my, on my lunch break from work, um, I can do that. And, um, you know, so even though I'm working from home, you know, when I clock out from, um, from work, then I, I have some free time. So maybe I can, um, skip on over to the living room, <laughs> to my break room and, um, put Krista on the big screen and maybe see if I can look at the pattern a little more, see if I can follow her. But, um, this right here is Tupperware. I'm not selling Tupperware. I do know someone who sells Tupperware if anybody's interested. Um, but this is a really neat, um, really neat, gadget here. Um, this is their signature series line. I don't even know if they have it anymore, but it's just like their, their kitchen. Well, it is kitchen Tupperware, but it's just like their storage containers, only it has a, a lid like this. So I like to put my crochet and my crafts in it. And, um, so I want to show you, this is the mile a minute crochet. And um, what a great concept. What a great concept. Because all you have to do is make however long you want it, this strip. I don't want to put that down there. This strip 
or crochet and it's really got a nice pattern. It's a shell pattern. And um, so you make as many of those. You make it as long as, as long as you want your blanket to be. This is a baby blanket. So I made these in, in different shades of purple. And, um, and you make as many as you want your blanket to be wide. So you're in full control. This is nice because it does work up a mile a minute. Once you get um, that initial part started, then you can sit there and watch TV. And before you know it, you've, you know, you've made your row. So you make up all these rows and then you crochet them together. And um, she has a really great tutorial. And um, I actually made a blanket for my granddaughter, my newest granddaughter in purple. Oh, I'm pulling out some stitches, darn. Okay, let me see. And don't do like me, what, what you should do is put a stitch marker in there. Um, I usually pull it out, so I figure, oh, that's gonna hold it. But if you put a stitch marker in, then you won't lose any of your stitches. Um, but I started doing the border on this one. So what she has you do is take your border color and you go all the way around. And basically it's, um, um, three double crochets, so it's a shell um, in each space around, and then you could just connect them. Um, you connect all of the, it's a truck, you connect all of the strips together until all of a sudden you have a blanket. And it's really amazing how it comes together. So, you know, while you're making the, the strips, you're feeling no pain because you're just making little strips and it's like no big deal. Oh, you know, I'm just making little strips. It's not a big deal. And then all of a sudden you have all of your strips done. And um, with this, I used Hobby um, Tivoli XL, which is a four weight yarn. It's so soft. Oh my gosh. It's not even a baby yarn, but it is so soft that and squishy that it just makes the perfect baby blanket um and um it was a 50 gram skein and a 50 gram skein with the length that i made these it made exactly two strips um and then i had a little bit left over just a little bit which then all of those colors i attached with the magic knot and i rolled it into a ball so i have scrap blanket um, material coming up because I'm just randomly putting them together, um, you know, the different ends that I have. And with that being a four weight yarn, it's perfect, um, you know, for either a scrap uh, blanket or a scrap rug or a scrap bag. So anyway, so yeah, I really like this and um, so my grandbaby Annabelle got one of these, and um, which is actually why I um, first ordered the Hobby yarn um, was because I wanted to try something new. The shipping is free on Hobby if you order $75 or more. And um, they had a sale, and it was a really good sale. Um, I haven't seen it. In fact, right now they're having a sale the Tivoli XL is two dollars and ten cents um, per skein, and um, like I said, it's a fifty gram skein. Um, when I got it, I got it as a pack of ten. Um, they they had a sale. It was a pack of ten for fifteen dollars. So basically, it was a dollar fifty a skein, um, and which was a really good deal. I mean, two ten is a good deal. Um, especially if you get enough and you don't have any shipping to pay. It's not bad at all. Not for this quality of yarn. Um, but $1.50 for a three and a half ounce, 50 gram skein of yarn. That was amazing. Um, I'm really sorry. I didn't, I didn't realize what a good deal it was because it was my first time ordering. So I, um, I got five colors. Um, 
because I wanted to get that free shipping, so I got five colors, but you know, if I had known what a good deal it was, I would have ordered more. Mm -hmm. Yes, I would have. Um, because I absolutely adore it. And I, for some reason, you know, I, I had only, um, you know, I live in a very rural area. Okay. We have a mall on the other side of the County. It's 20 miles away from me. It doesn't have anything in it. It's dying. You know, it doesn't, it has a rural king right now, which is keeping it alive. Um, but it's struggled for all the years that it's been there. I mean, uh, you know, at one time it was thriving. Um, you know, it had a Sears and a Kmart, Belk. It had, um, you know, Bath and Body Works. And it had all, all different kinds of things in it. Um, now it has nothing. The only um, national, nationally known store, I believe right now, is Rural King. Um, which... I'm not knocking that store. I like it. You go in and, of course, now you can't get your free popcorn, but you used to be able to go in and get your free popcorn and um, walk around and look at all the fun stuff. And then when it was spring, you go in and see the chickens, little baby chicks. I love seeing the little baby chicks. Um, so um, anyway, this area is, you know, it has no craft stores, none, no yarn stores, no craft stores. Um, the only, the nearest thing to a craft store is the local Walmart. And, um, you and I know that Walmart carries certain brands and, and that's it. You know, they c carry standard yarn. Um, they don't carry all that lovely, gorgeous, you know, specialty yarn and, and all the other stuff too. And even sometimes finding the basic yarn is is difficult and that's why I was using you know the Red Heart Super Saver so much because it was cheap and and I could get some colors and and whatnot um, but now that I know about hobby oh, I'm all over it I'm all over it our nearest um, Michaels and Hobby Lobby and Joanne the nearest one for me is about 35 miles away so it's you know it's a commitment it's a commitment going um, with traffic you don't know you know it could take you an hour to get there with traffic you just don't know when you get into the the city um, you know getting through the lights and and all the traffic and everything normally it takes that long um, so you know um, so finding places that I can order and they deliver for free, I'm like all over it. Let me tell you, all over it. So um, anyway, today is going to be a good day, hump day. Um, we're halfway through the week. You know, we have today and two more days and then comes the weekend. So let's just enjoy today. Um, when I was at, at work, um, working from the office, um, my favorite day was Tuesday, um, only because I work in an area where there's parking restrictions and, um, you can't park on the street, um, except for Tuesday. And so I would live for Tuesdays because then I could park on the street. I could park right next to the building and, um, not a whole lot of people did that because, you know, they're creatures of habit, just like we all are. I'm a creature of habit, but my habit is Tuesday. Mm -hmm. I'm in front and, um, I love getting a good parking spot. <laughs> it's one of my downfalls. Um, so now that I'm, you know, working from home, um, I've got a new favorite day and it's Wednesday. Um, and so, I try to keep track of the days because, wow, you know, they just go by so fast. And um, I'm trying to keep better track of the days. When it, when I first was staying home, I completely lost track of the days. I didn't know, you know, not only what day it was, what date it was. And then when the months changed, it's like, what month is it again? <laughs> so, um, because, you know, 
I started staying at home the last Friday of February and here it is May so yeah it's, it's interesting but um, you know I'm praying for all of you um, I don't know what your situation is I don't know um, you know I mean things might be great for you or you might be really having a hard time and so no matter what I'm praying that you have a good day and I'm praying that um, that you will be able to find something good in each day um, I know I was it yesterday that I talked about you know do something uh, positive for yourself whether it was you know making a new recipe or even just getting in the shower trash truck sorry about that um, I can see the the fog is starting to lift so that's good um, you know even if it's just doing something as simple as um, setting aside 30 minutes to um, find a new pattern on YouTube go into your stash and find some yarn and just start creating um, if it's just um, something for you, even if it's just sitting quietly in a spot and closing your eyes and deep breathing, deep breathing, and just listen to your heartbeat and listen to your breathing and just relax. Um, maybe it's taking a bubble bath. That's always good. I love that. Um, so anyway, I hope that you find something good to do today. I apologize for the trash truck in the background. Yeah, they're not going away anytime soon. So I hope that you have a great day. I am going to have a great day. I may even, I don't know what I'm going to tackle. I am promising myself that I'm not going to start those gnomes because I have too many, too many whips already. So. I think what I'm gonna do today, in between, like on my breaks from work and um, on my lunch, is work on one of my whips um, that I feel like I can finish today. You know, during my breaks, during my lunch, and then tonight. I'm gonna try to find a whip that I think that I can finish. And um, so that I can, I always feel very good, very accomplished when I finish a whip. Um, I have something that I am dying to show you that I made for my sister-in-law, my sweet sister-in-law for her birthday. Um, but I can't show you because she watches this and I don't want to spoil it for her. So, um, before I give it to her, I will, uh, show you and film it, um, so that you can see, um, what it is but I'm so excited about it it's like I put it in a drawer because I am like I'm so bad right I'm so bad like I make something and I don't even wait for Christmas or birthday um, I just come over and you know if I make it if I make it with someone in mind I'll bring it to them and I'll be like look what I made you here it is you know and then come Christmas I'm like oh I don't have anything to give you I have to hurry up and make something else and um so I'm going to change that behavior this year. I am. I'm going to start showing, um, showing a little restraint. Mm, yeah. Yeah. That's on my to-do list too. Drink water, show some restraint in giving gifts. I wonder if that'll work. <laughs> oh my gosh. Probably not, but I'm going to put it on the list. Okay. So that's my, that's my new list. Drink water and show some restraint in giving gifts. Okay, we'll see. Have a great day and stay safe. Be kind to yourself and others and get hooking. <laughs>